Welcome back to my cycling YouTube channel, Rice Cakes. These are professional rice cakes. What do I mean by professional? My coach, he's on Team Astana, and this is the recipe that they are using, and I'm gonna show it to you guys today. I'm here with my beautiful daughter. I'm blessed to have amazing children. She helps me so much, and hopefully I help you too. <laughs> I'm also gonna show you what the nutritional content of these rice cakes are for each serving, what you're getting in terms of carbs, fats, calories, etc. These are super easy to make. I have all the ingredients here. We're going to be using apple juice, rice, sugar, maple syrup, and raisins. I don't have any cinnamon, but you can put cinnamon in if you like. I have a pressure cooker here. Uh, you can buy a rice cooker online for like 20 bucks on Amazon, maybe a little bit more. All right, so let's weigh out our ingredients. I like using my scale. We're going to do it all in grams. We're going to start with our rice. We want a thousand grams of rice. This is a double batch I'm doing. There we go, a thousand grams into the rice cooker. We're gonna put in a hundred grams of sugar. Hundred grams of sugar. A hundred grams of raisins. There we go. Eat one. Hundred grams of raisins. Then we're gonna do 120 milliliters of maple syrup. Going in. Then we're gonna do 800 milliliters of apple juice. And then we do 800 milliliters of water. So here's 500 milliliters of water. Ooh. Just enough. And then there's the last 300. So we mix it all up nice and toasty. Now that we're all mixed up, we start it up. This it should only take about 30 minutes before it's done, maybe 20 minutes, because this is actually a pressure cooker and it cooks things a lot faster. Um, but you can get a rice cooker online, very, very inexpensive, like $20. And if you're doing this regularly, it'll save you, you know, a lot of the headache of making sure checking it when you're when you're simmering it on the stove. But if you can't get a rice cooker for whatever reason, a pot on the stove will work. I think the cooking times depend on the size of batch you do. We did a double batch today, so if you want to do a half batch just cut it cut everything in half I'm gonna put all the ingredients in the description so take a look there and uh, yeah we're gonna come back when this is done and then I'm gonna show you how to turn them into rice cakes let's go my beautiful wife is substituting for my beautiful daughter we're back the rice is cooked and now we're gonna put it down on our pan all right we're just gonna line our baking sheet with some what's it called again parchment paper all right, now let's take a look at our rice. Let's see how our rice looks. How are we looking? We're gonna mix it all up. It's, it's important that we mix it up just because it browns. Okay, so I think we're stirred up nice and good. There it goes. This might be the hardest part of the whole thing, and you just want to flatten it out. I've tried this before, let's see if it works. I made a double batch today. What I usually do is make a, a half of this and put it in a plastic bag, flatten it out, and then put it in a fridge. But because we're doing a double batch today, we're gonna to try and flatten it out by using another baking pan. You think this is gonna work? Right. This, I think that worked well. So once you do that, kind of flatten it out and make it as square as possible. There we go. Yeah. We're gonna put them in the fridge and look, I said oven. We're gonna put them in the fridge 
and let them set so they become a lot harder. And then we're gonna cut one and weigh it to about 50 grams and then we're gonna package them. And I'm gonna show you how I do all of that. And then I'm gonna show you their nutritional value and how many carbs you're getting from about one of these cakes. Do you want a Wahoo Element Roam for free? If yes, please enter my giveaway. It's free to enter. I'm doing this giveaway for my subscribers as a thank you from me to you. I've had such a fortunate life and uh, I'm so blessed to be in the position that I am and I wanna give back to you guys. And this is why you should subscribe. I'm gonna grow this channel and I'm gonna be giving away lots of stuff. My goal and my dream is to give away bikes, full bikes, Durace Di2, top model, top brand, top spec, whatever. I'm going to be giving away bikes one day and you could win one. So I think that's an awesome reason to subscribe. So please subscribe and we're going to do this together. All right, let's get back to the rice cakes. It's the next day. We've let them sit overnight and it happens to be my wife's birthday. Some flowers her friend got for her. Now we're going to cut these. What we want to do is weigh one out to 50 grams so we have an idea of what that size is. And then we know that a 50 gram piece of this is going to give you about 35 grams of carbs. Now guys, I'm going to do another video on how many of these you should eat an hour, how many grams of carbs you should eat an hour, during what type of intensity. And this information I got straight from my coach, who like I said is on the Asana World Tour team. Uh, so watch for that video coming up, all about nutrition, how much you should eat, what you should eat, and when you should eat it on the bike. That's coming. Watch for it, like I said. In terms of other nutritional value, these don't really have anything else. It's negligible. You might get a gram of protein here and there from the rice or the raisins, but everything else is pretty much carbohydrates. Okay. I bought these pre-squared tin foil, and they're really helpful. Okay. Lots of calories, oh. energy calories. And what we're what's so great is it's only carbohydrates, and that's what we want out there, is only carbs. So what's that? Ooh, that's huge. Look at that. Oh, wow. 90 grams. There we go. So it's a little big. So we're going to try and make all of our pieces about this size. So let's cut it in half first. Yeah, 50 grams, see, perfect. We got them all cut. Obviously, this isn't an exact science here. I think the few on the edge here are gonna be a little bit bigger, but what's so good about these is there's wholesome ingredients. I don't think you're gonna find a more natural energy bar. Like if you went and bought a Cliff Bar or you buy one of these other bars that they sell, this is obviously gonna be healthier. I really like that. And this is gonna save you a ton of money. Now I'm gonna show you how I wrap them up. You ready? We're gonna work together? Yeah. Cord with one hand, placed with the other. We're working as a team. So I just make sure to fold it like this. Fold it down, rip the edges off, and then fold it under. Okay. That's it guys, I hope you try this recipe and if you wanna add anything in or take anything out, by all means. But please let me know in the comments what you liked, what you didn't like, and if you like the video, please hit the thumbs up button and if you dislike the video, please hit the thumbs down button twice. I love that, I heard that somewhere else, it's pretty funny. But don't forget to enter the Wahoo Rome giveaway, I would love it if you win. And that's it guys, I'll see you on the next video, I'll see you soon, bye.